so the final year mbbs which is the most crucial part the most overwhelming part and the most exciting part of your mbbs journey and it is the final year so it brings a lot of difficulties and challenges but in today's video i am going to tell you how you should and how you can tackle these challenges so hey everyone my name is amarth and i am currently an intern at igms patna and this video is going to save you hours of your confusion and indecision so today we will be discussing what are the actual books and the resources that you are going to need in your final year mbbs not only to write your final year mbbs theory exams but also for your clinical knowledge and side by side for your neat pg and inct preparation so let's begin this video so first of all let's get the overview of these subjects that is what are the actual subjects that you need to study for the theory exams mainly which is our concern so these subjects are medicine surgery ops and gynae and pediatrics so these are your four major subjects so these subjects are not only theoretically relevant but also clinically oriented viva heavy and neat pg relevant so choosing the right resources becomes very important when coming to these four major subjects so i will be very honest with you no one can read all the standard textbooks and retain it all so what is the winning formula that i use and what i would recommend to all of you is that one standard book per subject plus your notes from your coaching or what uh, whatever classes you take online or offline and mcq based revision sources these are the important resources which will help you a lot in retaining the concepts and also making these subjects clinically very helpful for you also focus on clinical understanding because you could not underestimate how much you learn by observing something so before starting recommendations for the books or the resources for each subjects i would say uh, that there is one resource which is common to all these four and that is your notes from the uh, coaching classes you take either it be dams maro preplatter or any other coaching platform so that resource is going to be uh, common to all the subjects so uh, what i am trying to say is that no matter what book you read or whatever i am going to tell you these notes from your coaching classes or uh, any other uh, classes you take these are going to be your primary notes which help you not only in the neat pg preparation but also gaining the concepts so uh, this resource will be uh, consistent in all these four subjects so now i will start with the medicine and the first thing that is for the theoretical exams let's be very practical and the book that i will be recommending you is this this is the archit bulur sir's textbook of uh, medicine for the undergraduates this is a very uh, relevant book very uh, concise i would say and very exam oriented book and very good for your theory exams your university exams so i would not recommend all of you uh, in the final year to start reading the harrisons or the davidson you can read if you are interested but uh, to be very honest speaking uh, about the university exams or the semester exams the final exams this book the archit bulur sir's textbook is uh, i think more than enough when it comes to answering the questions in the exam whenever you start studying a book for example if you start studying this uh, book for medicine uh, then what you do that after you purchase the book after you start just start before starting to uh, read the book take a pencil and please mark the topics the important topics which have been in the previous year questions multiple times that is because the book is huge you have a lot of things to read you have to study from the coaching resources you have to study the other subjects so reading the whole book is going to be very lengthy for you so act smartly don't uh, go for uh, reading all the concepts in these books because you are already covering those concepts in the online coaching classes so uh, you don't need to study from in, into the book you what you need to study from the book is that you need to study the important topics for your exams the pyqs the important topics which have been asking in the exams for the last 5 years or 5 to 10 years whatever is the previous year questions you have and this is not only for medicine i will be telling this for all the major subjects which you are having and uh, how to read the medicine in the final year i will be making a separate video on that i have been working on that video so i will be uh, uploading that video very soon and in that video i will be telling how to actually approach the medicine in the final year and how to read it very smartly along with your neat pg preparation that you have been doing and now coming to the clinical part and i have previously also mentioned this book and this book is uh, none other than the archit bulur sir's insider's guide to the clinical medicine and that is a very i think very well defined and uh, straight forward book for the clinical medicine so i have hutchinson's also with me from the uh, second year only but i haven't read a single page i think it's not a bad book i would say hutchinson is really good book for the clinical medicine but the problem with 
Hutchinson that I personally faced is that the actual content part is dispersed between the whole text and it is written in such a way that if you start reading it line by line then you will obviously get bored and this is not the case with uh, this book this book is very direct and uh, I have been making PDFs from this book uh, regarding the history taking and the history taking theory parts I upload on my telegram channel MBBS with Amarthe and here is the link do join and get all the benefit of the channel and all the PDFs for free so if you want to read some other book like Kundu it's okay you want to read you can read but uh, I found this book very much straightforward and very much exam oriented that is why I have been telling you uh, about this book in my previous videos also so this was all about the medicine so now coming to the surgery in the surgery you have some standard books like these this is the Bailey and Love textbook of surgery which is a very gold standard when it comes to surgery but the question is the same do you really need this book and in my opinion you don't need I have this uh, but it's it's not for us because when you start studying this uh, book you will uh, not get benefited because it's like a textbook it's written like a story and uh, I don't think that we have much time to read these books so, so what is my recommendation so I would recommend going for the SRB textbook of surgery I mean it's a, it's a very great book it's a very good book and this book is uh, I mean it's a gem it's a very nice book not only for the exams but you will love reading it it's given from the uh, core anatomy is given whole of the uh, book is written in such a way that your whole of the Bailey and love is also going to get covered so if you get FOMO in case your uh, seniors tell you that no uh, read the Bailey and love and you have to read because it is a standard book but please don't get in a FOMO because this will book will cover all the uh, part of it and it is more than sufficient and the same thing applies as the medicine into the surgery is in this book also so whenever you start reading surgery from this book what you do you take all the questions from the previous year questions that were important or the topics which were important from the PYQs and start reading it because ultimately from whenever wherever coaching institute you are reading you are obviously reading a whole topic whole of the surgery part so what you need for the final year MBBS exams is the previous year questions and some of the important topics which you get marked from your seniors or from the PYQs also is enough so that is how you uh, study for the surgery from the textbook that is the textbook manual of surgery by SRB sir. so that is the standard uh, I would say the preferred book from my side for the surgery and now coming to the clinical part for the surgery so as uh, told by many of my seniors and all of the teachers I guess in, in the whole of the India we say that as does book is the standard book for the uh, practical uh, and the clinical knowledge and I agree that you should read the ASDAS book so I would recommend yes read the ASDAS book as I am saying that PYQ will be very uh, less in amount but when you start marking the important uh, topics from the PYQs let me assure you that more than one third I guess even half of the topics from the whole book will be covered from that so don't take tension that you will not be having much concepts you will be lacking some uh, topics no this is not going to happen ultimately from the online resources you are studying and from marking the PYQs whole of your book is going to be covered be assured so this was all about the surgery and let's uh, get started with the ops and gynae so now coming to the obstetrics and gynecology these are my recommendations and these are my uh, preferred book that I actually read and these are the DC Datta's textbook of uh, gynecol uh, obstetrics and the Shaw's textbook of gynecology so actually what I want to say that these two books are like a gem you won't believe but I read this whole book uh, this obstetrics I mean two to three months before my exams and I really don't regret that I uh, gave so much time to this book because this book really is a gem it's so good it's so nicely written that you will fall in love with the obstetrics it is has written in such a very easy language that it's very easy to understand the whole of the uh, obstetrics talking about the Shaw's textbook of gynecology it's also very uh, well nicely written book but I think I should have gone for the DC's Datta's textbook of gynecology and I would say that you should also give a shot to the DC's Datta's uh, textbook of gynecology also because I think the way it has been uh, written in the obstetrics textbook I think the as I have seen in the PDFs of the uh, DC Datta's textbook of gynecology it is written in the same way the best part of this book is that the it is not only just for concepts it is very much exam oriented the approach the algorithms given for the treatments the diagrams 
the languages of this book is so easy that you will not regret reading this and i have read this book not all the chapters but most of the chapters and it's really really very helpful for understanding obstetrics whichever topic you think you are not going to understand this book will make sure that you understand it, it i don't know about all other books but if coming to obstetrics you should must give it a shot and trust me it's not going to disappoint you it's a very really uh, nicely written book and for the gynecology what you do that download the pdfs of both the shaw's textbook of gynecology and the dc tata's textbooks of gynecology compare both of them read a chapter from both of them and uh, whichever you like you can buy it and both of the books i think is going to good but i think dc tata's textbook of gynecology would be better than the shaw's textbook of gynecology so that was my recommendation for the uh, theory part of the obstetrics and the gynecology now coming to the practical part and for the practical part as i have uh, not read that book but uh, many of the recommendations as i have heard from my seniors and my batchmates that book is the manji's textbook which is for the clinical ops and scanning but uh, what book i uh, read and what i had was this book and that is sharmila arun babu's textbook of uh, clinical obstetrics and gynecology it's a very nice book and it's very small not uh, too much lengthy so what are the pros of this book it is very concise the history taking pattern is given all the viva questions which are going to be asked in the exams or which are supposed to be asked in the exams which are very important for the exams are given in this book the con i would say that the data which is given in this uh, book i think it is not much reliable because i have seen a lot of conflicts between this and the dc dadas textbook regarding the data so uh, apart from the data part you can rely on this uh, regarding the uh, format for the history taking what are the viva questions that can be asked from this book or what are the clinical parts which can be learned from this book like the examination part or other things so for that this is a very nice book don't rely on it regarding the data as much my experience says but overall it's a very nice book for the clinical examination of the obstetrics and gynecology so this was all about the obs and gyne and let's now move on to the final subject that is the final major subject and that is the pediatrics so now coming to the uh, pediatrics and i think everyone knows what is the standard textbook and that is the this book this is the guys essential pediatrics and it's a very nicely written book in what the thing is uh, with pediatrics is that you read maximum of the pediatrics systemic part in the medicine itself so overall pediatrics becomes quite easy for you after you study the medicines the systemic part becomes easy as much as the neonatology is concerned and also the systemic part uh, this book is very 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 nice and it is more than enough i guess for your university exams and everything it it covers everything the neonatology part is very nicely written and apart from the book you are obviously going to learn from your online coaching resources and that is going to be enough for you so that is going to be enough for your final exams you can excel easily in your final exams so the formula is the same mark all the previous year questions make your own notes from the book and uh, revise it before your exams in the semester exam beat your final year exams so these are going to be enough for you so now coming to the final year mbbs exams as much as the exam is concerned the all the resources that i have told you as of now for the theory part the books that i have said mark all the pyq topics from the books and make notes of it in the uh, format that has been asked in the exams or whatever uh, format you find it easy making a flow chart or any of this and that's going to be more than enough for your exams i mean you will be excelling your exams if you do these things so this will be enough for your exams so here are my final tips for all of you so the first tip would be don't fall into the trap of buying n number of books just for the sake of buying trust me one good source revised n number of times is better than five untouched books tip number 2 do visit your clinical postings i know the clinical postings start from the second year and trust me even i have not been very regular on the clinical postings since my second year in the final year i was a bit of consistent but yes i may not have attended all the clinical postings but i made sure that whatever clinical posting i attended was very uh, productive for me so it doesn't matter how many days you go to the clinical posting what matters is that what is the what is your productivity how much uh, productive uh, you get in those days and how much uh, things you learn so make sure even if you go to the clinical postings one day or two day or three day in a week what matter is that you learn a lot from those two to three days only so that will be i think better for you do the examination 
look for the patient and clinically correlate whatever you have read so tip number three is start making your own notes for the final year exams that is the pre yqs make a separate notebook and as i have said that mark all the textbooks whatever i have recommended mark the pyqs and see what questions have been asked for example if cardiac tamponade has been asked in the medicine start your notes making from the cardiology and the first question would be cardiac tamponade and make it into a uh, certain points like what are the clinical features investigations treatment in such a way that it will help you in the final year exams a lot because pyqs obviously get repeated and it will cover most of the book also so now the last step is that this is the last phase of your mbbs and this is the last year which you are going to attend in your classes as a student because once you get into the internship you are no longer considered only a student but because you are also going to work like a doctor you are supposed to work into the uh, hospitals you don't have so much of spare time you have to also prepare for the neat pg so there's a lot of things going uh, to happen in the internship so better you enjoy this phase of the final year also so this was all about the uh, book recommendation and the resources for the final year mbbs and if you have any uh, queries or any doubts just feel free to ask me in the comment box or you can follow me on instagram and ask me here the link is given in the description so do uh, follow me on this instagram and ask me any queries if you have or any confusions regarding the books regarding the sources you can comment below and you, i have the telegram channel and the link is in the description do join the telegram channel and you will have access to the free pdfs which i have been making so till then have a good day i will meet you in the next video thank you